as opposed to exercise. Exercises are different here, which is planned and purposeful. So the idea is you're there for um, performance, so either to improve or maintain your physical fitness. So when I'm out setting my goals and what motivates me is basically this exercise. I'm trying to maintain, um, or mostly maintain the fitness level that I have now. I'm actually you know, really scared of not training. If I go on holidays with my wife, um, she finds it very hard because I'm there going, I've been like 12 hours without exercising. I need to you know, go and do something and get twitchy leg syndrome and all sorts of things. But anyway, moving on. Exercise intensity, okay, so we've got a couple of different guys busting out some exercise. Now, when we're looking at these physical activity guidelines in the next few slides, you need to be aware of these two different terms. So the first term is moderate intensity exercise, which is just walking at a rate that will just bring your heart rate and ventilation up. So you might start sweating in moderate exercise. So the example they've got here is being able to talk. So if you're walking with your dog and talking to them, you know, that's probably okay, but you probably can't sing to them. So, or not all, you know, or you can probably sing a couple of words and you're having to stop to have a bit of a breather. So that guy at the top, you can see he's probably at the moderate. He's, um, looks like he's busting out some tunes as well. This guy down the bottom though is probably doing vigorous because um, this is breathing hard enough. The heart rate has gone up significantly. And you can probably say a few words before having to really stop and suck in some more air. So two different types of intensity, and you'll see why this is important in a sec. Once, uh, there we go. So I'll put the guidelines down for all our different population groups. This is the zero to fives. This is the recommendations. So the recommendations for these guys, I can relate to this bit of tummy time. Tummy time is always good for everybody. Um, so in our infant stage, it's just saying, you know, from zero to 12 months, just get them on the floor doing some, not just sleeping, but some, you know, some supervised activity. I actually had some other gifts in there of probably kids that weren't being supervised as well, but we've gone for the, gone for the supervised floor-based activity. Okay, toddlers on the other hand, one to three. <laughs> So I can definitely relate to this because we have a three-year-old at our house. Um, we're aiming for three hours spread throughout the day. And that's just physical activity, like physical, being physically active. It's not really defining intensity, but just saying three hours spread throughout the day. My three-year-old is not going to go for three hours. Um, but, you know, once you spread it out throughout the whole day, it's, it's definitely achievable. So moving on. So this is our recommendations of what we should not be doing with our kids. So zero to five. As easy as it is, we brought a Sony TV um, about the same time as we had our second bub, and I was just thinking, this is awesome. This is, this is free childcare. It's really cool. But if you look at the guidelines, um, yeah, I'm a bit disappointed. It's zero, OK? So I can't use it as a babysitter. Anyway, children younger than two, they're saying zero. OK, this is DVDs, computers your mobile phone, which is quite convenient um, to use for the kids. Under two, it's zero. That shouldn't be an option at all. They should be out, I'm not saying running around, but they should be physically active, trying to engage and um, strengthen, build muscles. Next one, two to five. Okay, so this is a slightly older. This is still before you're going to primary school. Less than one hour per day. Uh, I think about, okay, well, a play school episode goes for half an hour and then you've got a bit of rat in the hat and a bit of bananas and pyjamas. That's, it's so easy to see an hour just tick through. I said all children, birth to five, and they basically shouldn't be kept still for over an hour at a time. So if you're sitting down doing some crafty things, and I look at what we're doing in schools, you're seeing the kids will be doing an activity for half an hour, then they'll go and change to do something else. So you're not just sitting down there for a long time um, you know, just colouring or just reading or moving on and changing from activity to activity. Okay, let's look at the 5 to 12. 5 to 12 are basically primary school kids. So these guys, okay, how much exercise should they get? This is moderate to vigorous. So it's sort of a bit of a broad spread there. These guys are after one hour. And this can be spread across the day, but it should be every single day. 
Um, and something different here, we've, we started to talk about strengthening bone, so through sort of resistance-based activity. So resistance-based activity for primary kids, it's not going to the weights and, you know, busting out, um, you know, the big ones. We're looking at three days per week, resistance-based is running, so weight-bearing based activities. So running, walking upstairs, anything where they're, um, you know, climbing. If you look at the parks in town, anything we're having to climb and run around is resistance-based activities. Um, which helps strengthen our bone and muscle. And for extra, this is a several hours, okay? So additional health benefits. So saying at least 60, but you can go for several. There's no problem with several. They will get more benefits for going right out that way. Sedentary activity for these guys um, is down to two hours. So this is primary school, shouldn't have two hours. So you think what they're doing at school. If they're on the computer for an hour at school, maybe an hour at school, then doing something on a little iPad, that potentially could go out to an hour and a half at school. So you sort of need to be mindful of those sort of activities. Moving on to high school. These guys are 60 minutes, moderate to vigorous again. Um, and same thing, we're looking at three days per week, we're doing strengthening based activities, and same thing, several, um, several hours per day. So moving through with these guys, we're limiting TV to no more, let's check this one out, two hours. So I think 13 to 17 years, okay, I guess this is more, it says computer use, it doesn't actually say computer games. So if I think about the kids at my school that are you know, writing up big documents and making up PowerPoint presentations, they're quite likely doing that before they even flick on the TV at the end of the day. And the whole focus of having these limitations is to encourage um, this age group to be out and, and exercising. And moving on, 18 to 64 years of age, first guideline is do something. So, makes sense. <laughs> well, I can do that. So, doing any physical activity. So, I, I gave some examples before. But it says if you don't do anything, start gradually. Don't just go straight in and have a crack at doing a 24-hour race. So, for those people that didn't know, that's something that I do a few times a year. Just ride around and around and around in a circle. Um, for 24 hours and eat lots of cool food, but um, that's a fair bit of physical activity you need to be doing to, to keep pedaling for that 24 hours. Anyway, 18 and 64, same thing. The key is being active as often as possible. So not just doing all your exercise in one day, doing little bits of exercise spread throughout the week, gradually building up to the recommended numbers. So this is our recommended numbers. So if you're 18 and 64 here, you should be aiming for that two and a half to five hours of moderate, not a day, this is a week, uh, I was getting a bit excited going, excellent, when I'm, you know, I should be doing this much exercise every day. It's not quite the case. Um, over a week, two and a half to five hours of moderate. But if you're doing that intensity, that higher intense exercise, it's um, an hour and a quarter to two and a half hours of vigorous each week. So that's only really, what, half an hour of vigorous activity um, most days. And they've got strengthening, so doing your weight-bearing activities for two days per week. And these are the guidelines, just to minimise sitting. That's all the guideline is, to try and be up, be up and moving. Now, 65 plus, this has got to do some form of physical activity. And it's saying that um, from the benefits point of view, it doesn't really matter what age you're at, what condition you have, what weight you're in, um, what abilities you have, just be doing some kind of physical activity will give you some benefits. And they're saying be active every day in as many ways as possible. So not just walking, not just riding, but trying to do, you know, a, a, having a bit of a balancing act there and doing a variety. And we're accumulating 30 minutes on most preferably all days. Um, same thing, if you stopped, go and see your doctor first and make sure um, it's not going to be detrimental. Uh, and, but then working slowly to build up to your required level. So they've also suggested that if you want to be still engaging in vigorous activity, that this is something that if you've carried on in your life, that's something you can continue on. It's not like you need to get the 65 and go, righto, my heart rate's got to 140 or 150 or I'm starting to puff, I need to back off the level of intensity. Uh, I still see, um, there's actually some guys I race against that are 55 and 60 that will flog 20 year old guys without a problem, like just because they've been into it for so long, um, they just have that residual fitness and know how to hurt. And by 30 minutes of exercise, 
It's not just sitting on a bike and, yeah, it needs to be, you need to get a little bit of half and a little bit of puff going on, as we said before, to tick off our moderate. Now, let's see how many people are actually ticking these boxes off. So, in our 5 to 15s, we have not even a third of the population are reaching that guideline of, what do we say, two hours a day, like it's fairly small. 18 to 24, we've got 60%. And in 25 plus, we've only got half the population meeting those guidelines of being... So if you think they're 25 plus, that's um, you know, 60 minutes most days. It's just not happening for a lot of people. So it sounds like we need to set some goals. But let's, um, 